So today we're taking a look at a new podcast and studio quality microphone from Fine Fine, who were nice enough to send me a sample of this product to go over with you all. So out of the box, we'll have a small manual that will tell us anything we need to know about the Tank 3. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable, as well as the Tank 3 microphone itself. So the microphone in question is their Tank 3 model, with a full metal and quite weighty design and construction, so my first impressions out of the box were very good. Straight away I could feel the quality and build were extremely premium for its current Amazon price point of £89.99 British pounds. People who know me know that I love to sound my best when streaming or making videos, so I spent a lot of money on my setup several years ago, so when offered this opportunity to check out the Tank 3, I jumped at the chance for this price, as I believe anyone else wishing to improve their vocal audio quality would be very interested. The Tank 3 utilizes USB-C to A as well as XLR connectivity. While using USB, you have control knobs to adjust levels on the mic itself, as well as a dedicated mute button. Though while using the Tank 3 via the XLR connection, you will need to use an external preamp or mixer to adjust your levels. The one I use and can recommend is the DBX286S, which was quite pricey at the time of the purchase with my AT2020 XLR mic, but cheaper options may be available now to complement today's setups with the Fine Fine Tank 3. Oh, and as an added bonus, my foam pop filters for the AT20 fit the Tank 3 perfectly as shown, so it's not too hard to find a solution here and will be needed to avoid excess pops and unwanted vocal noise. The Tank 3 is an end addressing dynamic microphone, which means to get the best sound you will need to speak into the end of the mic with a distance of about 2 to 6 inches, while adjusting your gain to meet the best results. It is also recommended to use a boom arm like the one I have here to further reduce noise and improve vocal quality. As you can see, we also have a built-in arm to connect the Tank 3 to a boom arm, which is also metal. So how does it sound? Well, this whole video has been recorded up until this point using the Tank 3. Now I will do some comparisons of quality between my AT2020 using XLR, then testing the USB connectivity of the Tank 3, and also test with a Logitech G435 headset mic, as this will be the most comparative to what the majority of users will most likely have to hand. Now, as a heads up, I did start to annoy myself recording the same clips over and over with different microphone inputs. Uh, so yeah, I do apologize in advance. Also, I won't be adjusting the mixer settings and knobs themselves, as it's a fair comparison, I think, leaving it as it is for my AT2020 when using the Tank 3 via the XLR connection. Okay, so this first test with the Tank 3 will be via the XLR connection. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And that was without the foam pop filter that I have, so I'll put the foam cover back on. And now this is with the foam filter on, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, which definitely gets rid of those air puffs from your pee, which you're hearing now, though it does muffle the sound a little bit, but you can up the gain again, and then you'll probably be back to a good level. So again, here is the Tank 3 via XLR without a pop filter. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And this is a recording with my AT2020 with the fan on and my foam pop filter on via XLR. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. As you can see, we're getting a slight difference in the volume via XLR between my AT2020 and the Tank 3, as I didn't change the settings on my mixer, and I imagine it's just because that's a much more expensive microphone. It probably has more expensive components, and picking up my voice through the foam pop filter is just much more manageable for the AT2020, and getting a smaller pop filter would probably help a lot for the Tank 3. And this is a test for the Tank 3 using the USB connection. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. As you can hear, it does pick up a little bit more noise as it doesn't have a noise reduction pass going through a mixer. And I do have a fan running in the background as well for all of these tests, so you could hear whether that fan was running, which I think is what you can hear that hiss is actually my fan. And I've also just put the foam pop filter on, so that's what this sounds like now via USB connection with the foam pop filter. 
Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I can also adjust now with the knobs on the actual microphone. So if I turn up to full, we should get quite a bit louder and probably pick up a little bit more noise. I'm not sure what this foam filter is going to reduce, but we'll listen to the recording. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And then just for peace of mind, we'll record with my fan off via USB connection on the Tank 3 with my foam pop filter on. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And I've got to say, this is pretty impressive for a USB connection, once you've got no background noise, that is. And just for parity, with a normal headset mic, this is the Logitech G435 microphone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Oh my god. Now, I'm not sure if there's many microphone options that offer the USB and XLR connections at the same time. But it's nice that you've got that option and you can use the USB connection until you can get your hands on an XLR preamp or mixer. It's a good job that the USB does sound really good, so most people will probably be happy with the USB connection on its own. So for this current price point of £89.99 British pounds on Amazon, it's actually pretty impressive. The Fine Fine Tank 3 is a great option for anyone wanting to up their game vocally for streaming, podcasts or anything else at a very reasonable price. And as an added bonus, Fine Fine have sent me a 15% off discount code for Amazon. I will leave this in both the video description and pinned in the comments along with the Amazon and official website links for you to check out further. Let me know your thoughts on the Fine Fine Tank 3 Dynamic Studio mic in the comments below. Or if you would like me to check out any further products by either Fine Fine themselves or anybody else, do let me know that as well. I really hope this review was helpful to you most of all. What I do know is it's made me realize I need to dust my desk a little bit. <laughs> but don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment. Most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time.